A prenuptial agreement is a contract that directs what will happen to a married couple's finances if they divorce. It's also known as a prenup, and in Connecticut, it's sometimes called a premarital agreement. In this video, we'll cover what prenuptial agreements are, what Connecticut law has to say about them, and reasons a prenup wouldn't hold up in court. If you have assets, debts, or children from a previous partnership, you might want to think about whether a prenup is the right decision for you. Make sure to watch to the end of this video so you can learn what an official prenuptial agreement looks like by downloading one from our database. First, let's talk about how Connecticut law treats prenups. Most states in the US have adopted the Uniform Premarital Agreement Act, which was passed in 1983 to make laws consistent across courts. Connecticut is one of the states that has adopted this law, and in 1995 also passed its own law, which is called the Premarital Agreement Act. Under this law, known as the PAA, the prenup can't address child support, and it also can't limit spousal support, known as alimony, if it would mean one spouse would wind up relying on the state for assistance. Both parties have to voluntarily sign a prenup in order for it to hold up in court. If one party can prove he or she was forced to sign it, a judge can throw the prenup out. The law also says the agreement has to be conscionable. What this means, basically, is that it's fair. If a prenup is going to cause one party extreme suffering, then the court can overturn it. The law says both parties have to know the full and accurate truth about the other person's financial situation when they sign the agreement. Each party needs to have the opportunity to review documentation related to income, assets, and debts, and to ask questions about any of it. In other words, if one party hides something, a court can later declare the agreement worthless. The PAA says both parties need to have a chance to get separate and independent legal advice relating to the prenup. It's advisable to start thinking about a prenup six months before you tie the knot. If you sign one on the week of your wedding, a judge could later interpret that as a sign that you weren't both able to get your own legal advice. If you're thinking about a prenup, the first step is for you and your spouse-to-be to find different attorneys and head into their offices with tax returns from the last few years and complete a list of your assets, income, and debts as well as what they are all worth. Once you've decided on the terms of the agreement, both parties have to sign on the line. It is recommended that this happens in front of a notary public. No one wants to have to think about getting divorced when they're planning a wedding, but couples that do are often glad that they did. You can get an agreement that works in Connecticut at the link right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos that can help you through marriage, divorce, and a whole lot of other situations too.